Something you guys always love is the game streaming test, and since Ryzen 3000 has just launched, I thought now would be a pretty reasonable time to get started on one. This video is all about Apex Legends and the new Ryzen 3900X, the 3700X, the last gen uh, 2700X, and Intel's 9900K. The testing methodology here is 180 second runs with a control no stream test, and then a streamed and recorded run together. The stream was to Twitch at 6 megabits per second, 1080p 30fps with a very fast preset, and then the local recording that was happening at the same time was using the indistinguishable preset in OBS, which means two separate encoders or instances of the X.264 encoder. So what are the results? Well, let's take a look. So taking a look at the normal and streaming results, we can see that the 9900K does win out here in the normal results, but loses out by the same sort of margin that it wins by when it comes comes to streaming. When we take a look at the actual differences, we can see a pretty massive difference, and when you can compare that in terms of percentage difference, you can see that Ryzen is happily well below 10%, whereas Intel is up near 33. The headline here is just how little Ryzen seems to lose pretty consistently across the board. The maximum we saw here is about 10% from the 3900X, which I could attribute to Windows scheduler issues, CCX usage issues, and then also uh, generally just having a 12 core is not the best optimized thing right now, especially on the Windows side of things, so um, we may see that improved in the future. Uh, the other big highlight is just how much Intel loses by comparison. Well, Intel definitely does win out in the standard gaming arena, even over the 3900X. When it comes to streaming, it was significantly or a reasonable amount slower than basically all of the other chips. Now, most people ask about the stream performance and the, the stream quality and all that sort of stuff, and so I wanted to address that quickly. First of all, neither platform nor the stream or the local recording had any issues with drop frames or bit rates that were all pretty consistent. Obviously, bit rate does vary over time, but generally it was pretty good. And the actual recording quality was actually pretty good as well. Really nothing that you would notice. There was, as I said, no drop frames and the overall quality is pretty decent. And of course, your gaming experience as the streamer also depends on the frame times. I recorded all the frame times for every run, but none of the runs really had any issues when it comes to you know massive lag spikes in terms of frame times. So uh, generally speaking, they're all pretty good. Now, before we go, I wanna address a couple of things. First off, I didn't have the latest BIOS that you would have access to when the video comes out. I only had a limited time with these samples and so these will all be going back and I'll be retesting them in the future uh, in a couple months uh, to see how the BIOS updates have changed things and obviously to test other games as well, so do bear that in mind. Second, this is on very fast. It's something that I'm sure plenty of you will talk about in the comments down below, but for the time being that's what I'm using. I will however do my best to try and retest some of these chips with different encoder presets to see how they fare, and so keep that in mind when you see future videos come out. And three, these tests aren't perfect, and you should always, always get multiple sources of data before making a buying decision. I'm only human, I'm definitely liable to make mistakes, and while I don't know that I've made any, I'm, it's perfectly possible that I have, and I'm sure that you guys will be more than happy to point those out in the comments as well. Otherwise, of course, if you're interested in seeing more Ryzen content, more streaming gaming results, then do let me know what you'd like to see in the comments down below, and also let me know what you think of these results. Are you surprised by the difference? Are you surprised that Intel loses so much here versus Ryzen, or are you just impressed that Ryzen does a very good job? All of that I'd love to hear in the comments. Of course, if you want to pick up any of the chips I've talked about in this video, feel free to take a look at the links in the description down below. That will take you to your local Amazon store where you can see pricing when and where you watch this. You can also check out that subscribe button with the bell notification icon for more videos on Ryzen, X570 motherboards, the new Navi cards, and a whole load of other stuff. So if you're interested in seeing that, make sure you are subscribed. You can also check out the links in the description down below to Amazon and Overclockers K. There are affiliate links, they don't cost you anything to use, but massively help me out when you do use them, or you can pick up merch for hoodies or t-shirts like this one or a load of other designs that are more or less subtle types of GB. I'm also working on some new ones, so make sure you stay tuned to that site as well. You can also check out Private Ed's Access, which is a great and cheap VPN, or Humble Bundle for cheap games to support charities too. Otherwise, there are plenty of other videos over there. If you've not seen the Ryzen coverage or the anti-lag video, any and all should be over there for you and you can take a look. Otherwise, that is pretty much it. If you've got any questions, leave us in the comments down below and we'll see you all in the next video.